Every second day I usually haul the water out, clean out the water bowls, give them fresh water. Morning Jetro, Ellie Mae. Yeah, lots of fun taking, an taking care of animals in the winter, let me tell ya. <laughs> no. <laughs> How you guys doing today? Oh, okay. Give me a minute, I'll let you out. Girls? Hi! Good morning, precious. How's my little girls doing? Huh? How's my little girls? Okay. I'm gonna go get some fresh water, you guys. Hold down the fork while I'm gone. Okay? I'll be back. Everybody to behave, have fun. Ellie May, behave yourself. Goodness gracious, hopefully the ice melts today so you can have a bath. You sure need one. Yeah. Okay, let's go feed the wild birds. Everybody gonna follow? Come on. Come on, Jethro. There's Black Sabbath waiting for his treat. I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay guys, it's dog walking time. <laughs> After we take care of the chickens, it's dog walking. I find if you go out a little later, around 10, 30, 11, 
It's a lot more warmer than in first thing in the morning. Yes. Mm hmm So. Oh, it feels nice out today. The sun's out. You need that vitamin D. I'm telling you, you need it to increase your spirit. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Let's go walking. Let's go see the lake, you guys. There's the babies. They don't need sweaters today. It's not too bad today. Yeah. by the lake today but the sun's out so it's still a beautiful day a little bit rough but at least it's not frozen no it's not frozen amazing it just amazes me better not freeze now you guys no we're heading for spring soon Someone's following us. <laughs> Run! <laughs> Tretro? Where's your woman? Where's Ellie Mae? Oh, there she is. She's over there. <laughs> Get off the road, everyone! Hey, honey. What? Did you see our new sign over there we got from a subscriber? <laughs> you see it? Yep. Yeah. It's true. I know it is, eh? Don't you love it? Because you know the rooster's the master, eh? <laughs> Get in there and cook me something, woman. Okay, Bruce's lunch today. He has a, a salad and I put ham, croutons, and cheese in there. And he's got his ranch dressing. I'm sending him what's a box of Valentine cakes to share with his friends. And then he's got some carrot sticks and, and ranch dressing. And I think he's got a little bag of chips. Okay, you guys. So yesterday I went specifically, specifically to town to get corn for the girls. And what did I forget? <laughs> so tomorrow I think I'll be heading to town. Again, I got to get them some corn. They don't really care for um, the, uh, what is it called? The hard corn, you know? <laughs> the, uh, oh, what is it called? I know what it's called. Uh, I got to get some peas, too. Ducks love peas. Um, I buy it at the feed store. It's a mix. They don't really care for that uh, speed. Uh, what do you call it? Jeez. Uh, scrap, whatever. They like real corn, so that's what they get. And if Costco would ever get their corn back, they would make me so much happy. But it's been missing for months and months. I'm gonna make them a little treat. I'll show you. We got lots to do today in this kitchen. Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys. I'm going to bring some treats out to the girls. They'll they'll uh, graze on that all day. Then we're going to get our bacon in the oven and we got some cooking to do today. They're already here. They must have known I was coming. Come on, everyone. Let's go down on the grass. There's no snow on the grass. Ellie, me, and Jethro. Marsh is laying an egg, but there'll be plenty left when she comes. Eggs. <laughs> and treats. Whoops. <laughs> there we go. Nice treats. Enjoy, you guys. Where are those two? Oh. <laughs> I should have known. My little babies were in their in their yard. Now Ellie Mae, you be nice. Oh, it looks like you had a bath. Nice. You're looking good. Yeah, Jethro, you had a bath too. Good job. 
Oh yeah, I still haven't put this stuff away. Come on, Zan, I got your treats. Here you go. Some peas. Your bread's stale. I'll get you another piece later on. There you go. Go enjoy. I love you, Zanny. Okay, guys, we're gonna get our um, bacon on. This will be good for breakfast. To put on our salad. Or whatever. Not that it'll last long because there's not much in here. Uh, I, I feel like I should go to Costco in the morning. Just do it myself. But I gotta be back, right, for Bruce to go to work. That's why. Look at this bacon. It's what the heck? Oh my gosh, it's so thin. What a rip. Oh, look at this. Now do you understand why I go to Costco to get bacon? Look at this mess. Oh my goodness, you gotta be kidding me. What a mess. Okay, let me get this in the oven and I'll show you what we're gonna do. You're really joking, right? That's what I got out of that package? I don't know, guys. We might be heading to Costco in the morning. We'll see. Okay, you guys. So I'm going to cook the dog's chicken. And you guys, oh my gosh, you guys, you're like, oh, I cooked my dog chicken in the cook slow cooker. And I thought, well, what? I could cook it in the Instapot. What? Michelle? Thank goodness, you guys, I tell you. Thank goodness, you guys comment in my comment section you give me so many ideas <laughs> like this is so simple and to clean it up and i'm just going to do it with a cup of water in uh, for 15 minutes and just let it sit in the instapot let's get the chicken in you guys okay so i'm just going to do a cup of water and even zen could have this chicken he likes chicken yeah and then I'm going to put the chicken in. I'm going to save a few breaths. I'm doing some chicken fingers today and spare ribs. So just put the chicken in. And uh, I think I've seen someone do 15 minutes. So I'm going to do 15 minutes. Yeah. Let me wash my hands. Okay. Wow, I'm a professional! Woo! <laughs> Did you guys see that? One try. <laughs> okay, pressure cook. 15. There we go. Let it be. I'm going to make these two chicken breasts into chicken strips. Okay, you guys. So I have these goldfish that I bought Nate, not yesterday, a, a while back. And he doesn't like them. So I'm going to bread my chicken strips in these. And then deep fry them. And that will make a nice... Um, a nice breading for the chicken. And I'm also doing ribs in the oven. Yeah, I thought, I don't know where they come up with this brand, this kind, but he doesn't like them. He's not a fan. I'm not going to do them all and save half of them because once you get the chicken in them, you can't save the crumbs, right? So. Just do uh, only as much as you need for your chicken. I tell you, I struggle. Every time I open a carton of milk, you Americans have no idea what we go through with our stupid cartons. <laughs> ah! It's a struggle. So what I do is, I'm going to get a, a fork. i got one here I can wash off. 
what I do is I I'm only doing one one egg because I'm only doing I'm not doing that much chicken. And one egg. I put a little milk in. Now you can use buttermilk if you have buttermilk. And I put now it, even if you don't like hot things, this is not going to be hot. I put some sriracha in there. It adds the flavor. It doesn't make the chicken hot. No. It makes it spicy. <laughs> but not hot. No. And that is what I'm going to dip my chicken in before the breadcrumbs. I'm going to dip it also in some flour too. Okay you guys. So we're going to salt and pepper this chicken. Ben's happy today, singing along out there, beeping to the sound of the stove. <laughs> Kills me. I'm turning it over and I'm doing the other side. We hear you, Zen. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to get a plate to put it on. Okay, so what we're going to do is try to have, this is my Instapot board. <laughs> Sorry, but we're not a big kitchen here. Um, okay, try to have a wet hand and a dry hand. Okay, put the chicken in. Oh, Shoot, I wanted to do the flour first. Flour first. Don't pay attention to what Michelle does. Flour first. Before you put it in the wet. Okay. I had to take the, the bacon out. I'll show you. Oh, turn the timer off. Okay, so flour first and then the liquid. Once the liquid really wet them up good. And then you get your dry hand and you put them in. Well, wait a minute, I'm gonna do this first. Here's your dry hand in your bread crumbs. If you have stale chips or nobody's eaten a certain kind of chip, you can also do this. Oh, our Instapot's done. I'm just going to let it be and open it later. So let's throw these on a plate. Yeah, so You can use anything for breadcrumbs. Anything. Any stale cracker. Anything. Okay, I'm going to go work on breading all this chicken. And I'll be back. Okay, as you can see, I have a little bit left. I'm not going to waste that. I'm going to double dip it again. Just so I uh, just dip it back in there. And then I won't be able to do it all, but I can do a few pieces. Just so I'm not wasting it. Yeah. If, if you can do all your chicken, it's magnificent to double dip. Don't listen to people who say you can't double dip. Double dipping is the best. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go double dip as much as I can. And I will be back. And there, I'm got, the secret to a good chicken finger is after you bread them, leave them sit for a bit. I'm going to put them in the fridge for a bit because I'm going to have some lunch. And I'm going to open my chicken here and I'm going to let this sit and cool and then I'll cut it up. Okay. 
Ooh, okay. It's not bad once you uh, once you leave it sit for a bit. It's not bad to open. Okay, I'm so disappointed. Look at my bacon. Look at what I got out of that bacon. What a mess, eh? I'm so disappointed. I think I'll name the video that. I'm so disappointed. Okay, my friends. I have a uh, a leftover um, tuna belt from last night. You guys, just 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 take a piece of bread, butter it. I butter mine. Put tuna on. Put cheese on top, and heat it in the oven until the cheese is nice and melted. That's how you get a tuna melt. It's easy. I need a drink. Zen's here. I thought we'd have a taste test on these chips. Okay, and I got some dip here too. Now I, I did not really. I'll eat the Dorito, 3D Doritos, but I wasn't impressed with them. I like a regular Dorito. Now, if they took that spice and put it on a regular Dorito, I would be, it would be good. <laughs> yeah, so. But I don't think they will, though. Okay, so I got some dill pickle, uh, chip dip. Zan is impatient. He wants a chip. Well, wait a minute. So we're going to try these ones out today. I know if I've seen them in someone's hall, I would want them to try it. Okay. Ketchup is one of my favorite chips. Here's in. Where did you go? Here's your chip. Yes, it is. Okay. Chip bag in there a little bit. Coco, please. Don't. So it's kind of a thicker chip. Not much thicker. Mmm. Now that's good. Mmm. That is good, you guys. That is good. Mmm. Yeah. Those are good. I swear. All the new chips. Come on. At Sobeys. They put right at the door when you walk in. Right there. Right there. They're like, Michelle's coming today. <laughs> Let's get the new chips out. Put them right in her face. So, so she'll get them. <laughs> Stop. It's not dinner time. <coughs> I'm convinced that what that's what they do. Are they real? Mm-hmm. Mm. I love tuna melts. Mmm. And you got to put green onions in your tuna and salt and pepper. Yes. Okay. I'm going to go enjoy my lunch. I'll be back. Back in the kitchen. These are good. Mm-hmm. makes Sandy howl with his barking. <laughs> I know, Sandy. I hear you, girlfriend. Yes, 
I hear you, my girlfriend. <laughs> Here's my friend out walking. I see him every day. He's late today walking. He's late. He's in there barking at the chicken that I took out of the Instapot. You believe that? He knows it's for him. <laughs> I didn't tell him that. I didn't say I'm cooking your chicken today. Coco, come here. Okay, you guys. It's time to cook our chicken. I had a long enough break. <laughs> okay. Maybe let that heat up a little longer. Okay, you gotta you wanna use a high burn oil. So you're not gonna use olive oil at all. Unless you're just pan frying it, then you can use olive oil. But when you're deep frying a little bit, you want to use vegetable oil. I like peanut oil myself. But you could use like that kind of oil. It's almost ready. It's just my stove, my oven stove top takes long. Then you want a rack like that to sit them on for a few minutes after they're all cooked. Okay, it's almost ready. I'm going to let it go a little longer. I like to do one first and then I know the heat is perfect. Okay, once you have one cooked and nice and golden, then you can put the rest in. I like to wait, like I said, until I get the heat, good temperature, and then the others are ready to go. Now this is a perfect uh, thing for the Super Bowl, and it's easy, and you're using up crackers that you, uh, or chips or whatever that you uh, don't want and you got a nice snack instead of buying the box stuff all the time make your own it's so much easier and it tastes so much better than that box stuff yeah so I let them go a couple minutes but I make sure that they're not touching the bottom because if they're touching the bottom of the pan they'll burn and uh, cast iron in or Dutch oven is the best to fry in you don't need a deep fryer okay you guys so I took the the membrane or whatever that is off the back of the rib and I'm just gonna spice these up salt and pepper garlic and I like to put a little brown sugar on there too and then I'm gonna wrap them in tin foil and cook them low on in the oven for a few hours so this is the first one just to spice it up whatever spices you want I like lots of spices on my ribs and uh, yeah so let me go spice this up and then we'll get these in the oven and when we go to pull them out I will show you what we're gonna do to so spice them up both sides and wrap them up tight and then get them in the oven for a few hours at least on um, about 300 I'm gonna go about 300 oh did I say I put brown sugar I'm not sure if I did I think I did but I'm not sure I like to put some brown sugar on them too on both sides He's back into position. <laughs> oh, spoiled dog. He just finished a little bowl of chicken. I had to give him a little bowl because he wouldn't stop. He seen that chicken and there was no way I wasn't going, getting away with not giving him any. Uh-uh. No way. Okay, so what I want to do with these ribs is cut them all. Each. Each one. And then we're going to barbecue them up. This is something you could do the day before the Super Bowl if you wanted to. And uh, just heat them up in the oven the day of the Super Bowl. Yeah. And uh, 
you'll be a big hit. Oh my gosh. These look amazing. Can't wait to put... I like honey. Just... I like to use just, um... Honey... What is it? Oh my gosh. Hmm. Why is my mind blown blank? Sweet baby Ray. That's what I was trying to say. I just like to use sweet baby Ray. So I'm going to go cut these and put them on the tray. And then we'll get these heated up in our chicken fingers. And we'll have some dinner, you guys. Those have to be the most taste, most best tasting winter ribs I've ever, I can't even talk, I've ever had. <laughs> oh my gosh. And you see how easy that was to let them go in the oven. Yes. Now I'm just going to put some sweet, sweet and spicy, uh, sweet baby ray sauce on them. Do the one side, then I'll flip them over. We're just going to heat them up. Oh, gosh. They are so good. I can't wait to eat. You can do it, you guys. You, you'll, you'll blow your Super Bowl party away. Yes, you will. <laughs> okay, you guys. Check this out. <laughs> I'm telling you, you got to follow my directions. And you got to do these ribs for Super Bowl Sunday. <laughs> oh, like you can use um, the honey sweet baby ray sauce if you don't like real hot, like spicy. If you're not a spicy person. Or you can use a different barbecue sauce. But if you cook them in the oven like I showed you. Oh. Oh my gosh. You guys. Absolutely amazing. Oh, it's good. Mm. Those are amazing. <laughs> oh, wow. I can't, I can't tell you enough how good they are. We're going to try a chicken finger now. I swear it's blurry. I don't know. I thought I overdid it. Okay, this is that a uh, um, that garlic sauce I picked up yesterday. Chicken fingers, amazing, amazing. Okay. <laughs> I like hot though. Oh, I feel like it's blurry, but I'm not sure. Okay. The chicken is not hot. You seen me put the sriracha in? It's my dipping sauce. Garlic sauce hot. Put the sriracha in your egg with milk. Buttermilk if you can. Amazing. A few of you asked me about my ranch dressing. I can't take credit for it. I have to give it to a few of my subscribers. So, if you take the ranch pack dressing and you put um, one cup of mayo and... Um, little under half a, a little under a cup of sour cream 
and just top it with a little milk to make a cup. And then you whip it with your beater or a whisk. You will have the most, you put the pot, the, the, you put the, uh, the powder, ranch powder in. You will have the best tasting ranch with your veggie dips you ever had. I guarantee you, if you have a fussy kid that won't eat vegetables and you make this ranch with some carrots and celery sticks, they will eat it. <laughs> I'm telling you, you try your ranch dressing that way. Mm. delicious <laughs> I can't say enough and so easy I put salt pepper brown sugar garlic powder garlic plus on these when I put them in the tin foil. Cook them in the oven for two hours at well I can't read the temperature on my stove so I turned it right down. I tried to get 300. I think I'd made it though. They were delicious. In two hours you wrap them in that tin foil. You take them out. You let them cool down. Cut them each bone. And put some barbecue sauce on. Put them back in the oven for 8 to 10 minutes. Just to heat them up. Oh, delicious. I have to say. These are a winner. For Super Bowl. Your, your guests will go crazy. I'm going to call her tonight because i got to let Sandy out and my battery's going to die. So, I'm going to call her tonight. I'm going to come up with more ideas for Super Bowl party and for Valentine's party. Like, my cream didn't work. <laughs> so I have to get some cream. Maybe I'll go to town tomorrow to pick up some cream. I'm going to show you my strawberry shortcake cups. That will be perfect for Valentine's Day or even your Super Bowl party. Yes, because you can do them the night before too. Okay guys, good night. And come join me again tomorrow. We'll have some fun. Yes, we will. Thanks for joining me, you guys. I want to say, you guys blow me away. Because, you know I'm a small channel. 6,000 subscribers. I'm going to tell you now, I get over 3,000 views on each video. That's pretty amazing. Because some channels with over 10,000 views can't even get that. So, I have to tell you, it's because of you guys. You're pretty amazing. Stick with me. We'll have some fun. We'll do some cooking. We'll do some chatting. We'll do some going out. <laughs> Not far. <laughs> but... And you, you got some cute animals to look at. Thanks a lot, again, you guys. Thanks so much. I get people saying, how do you get that many views on your videos when you're so little? It's called love, baby. It's called love. <laughs> Good night, everyone.